50 section. How cute, right? These are awesome, and I know that I am going to do, I don't know which one, but I'm gonna do a project with these as well. It's probably gonna be really super simple, but um, it's just a clipboard, $1.50. I think that's a really good size too. Um, so it's got the black and white polka dot, and then the gold um, clip, and then the reverse for the other one. I mean, this is really awesome. What, you could use it for gifts, you could use it for your own organization. Um, I was excited about that, that was a nice find. Here are my other set. This is the one that I did give out as kind of like a thank you at work. Um, it says a heart of gold, it's got the gold foil, and it has the white envelope with the black border. And I just thought that these were really cute and I picked them up with the other ones. Um, and they really liked it. So it doesn't hurt to always keep a thank you card or a note card around. So when I see stuff like this and it's a good price, I always get it. I got at Michael's, I always look for clearance. Anything on clearance, I'm, I'm checking it out. So on clearance, there were these Studio G um, cards and envelopes for crafting. And they original price was two dollars and they were on clearance for 69 cents how can you not get that um so i'll open it up here cheap crafty girl always says she likes the sound of packaging and you know what i do too i like that crinkle. um so it's kind of like a thicker card stock that's what it feels like and they're just plain black cards with a rounded edge and they are blank on the inside so that you could paint it you can put I could put these flowers around the outside it's just really nice um, to be able to craft things yourself um, you can do a lot of layering with this with like different scrapbook pieces um, and patterns and I, I just knew that I could use them and then the the note cards are just plain white I mean the envelopes right yeah the envelopes are just plain white envelopes the envelopes feel really cheap though they're pretty crappy envelopes just being honest also a clearance I found this fabric paint what was the original price of this I don't even know um, but so for my boyfriend for Valentine's Day I painted um, some pillowcases for him so I grabbed this but I also grabbed some other uh, fabric paint and I ended up using the other fabric paint especially because this one has shimmer in it so I don't know if he would have liked that but it was on clearance so I decided to get a it. lot of people like to shop at Dollar Tree um but there's some other wonderful places to to find some good deals at I just want to put that out there and I will be happy to let you know what those places are um one last Dollar Tree item I wore it already but Look at this cute headband. I just had to. It's got the little like handkerchief um, bow on it and it's plaid and it's got the stretchy part and because I have some big hair. My hair's huge by the way. Um, so I just thought this was super cute and I had to get it. So they have it in I think red and black and white as well. Everybody hauled their holiday uh, cleared stuff already so I'm just going to go through mine really quick from Joann's. I got this. It was, I don't even know how much I paid for this. Uh, Joann's was 85% off. Um, was it? Yeah. And so I got this Maker's Holiday. Um, it's kind of like braided. It's braided. I don't even know if I could call it ribbon. It's, it's not really, but um, I guess it's braided rope string something I just thought it was really really cool and I thought I could use that for something else I got this the ribbon boutique ribbon it is four yards and that is super cute with the gold it was a dollar twenty um actually I don't even think it was a dollar twenty I think it was less than that but so I got that. 
I got this wired edge. There's 30 feet on this, so I mean, that's a really good deal in and of itself. Maker's Holiday. Um, and it is black and white plaid with black trim. And I really like that a lot. That, that looks really, really cute. And then I got this interesting one with the black ribbon and the white snowflake. Original price for this was $10. Um, I think it ended up being like $2 or something. I don't remember. Um, but there is 25 feet in this one. So it's also a wired edge. And I just think these are really cool. There's a lot you could do with that. I got this really cute one. Um, I'm not a big fan of the color red, but I do like plaid a lot. And I thought that this one was really nice with the deer on it. So this is also from Maker's Holiday. There's nine feet on here. Original price was four dollars. I probably got it for like a dollar seventy or something weird like that. Um, places that you guys might be sleeping on that you really gotta check out. Salvation Army. Always, always, always check out Salvation Army. If you have a um, Habitat for Humanity Restore in your area, check that out. I always get spray paint from there. Spray paint is huge. It's expensive. But it's like a game changer if you're you're upcycling things or um, really just making anything on your own. And it really kind of broadens your horizons as to what you can be looking for when you're looking to do things for your home. So always get spray paint from there. I have a huge spray paint collection. Uh, if you want me to show that to you, just let me know. Comment down below. I'm happy to do it. And so from Salvation Army, I got this really cute box. So I already said that I'm obsessed with butterflies and there's this really cute box that was there and I had to get it. I love butterflies and I love boxes. I like containers. Um, so that, that was perfect for me. Original price is still on here, $5.99. I got it for $2. So I just thought that this was really cute and do I have a place for it yet? No, that's not the point. I'm gonna use it for something at some point and then this beauty I always 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 pick these up when I see them they're old um, a lot of people used to use them back in the day for uh, cheese and things of that sort when they're entertaining nowadays the whole apothecary like jar setup that whole situation is huge and so I always get these because I know that I can sell them again, but also I know that I can create really awesome decor for my house for cheap. This was $4. Um, if you buy apothecary jars um, or sets like this right now, they're way more than that. So go check out your Salvation Army. Um, something to keep in mind, like I was just talking about with spray paint, you can always spray paint this. This is actual wood though, so you can stain it if you wanted to, um, make it darker, you could whitewash it. There's so many things you could do with this. So just keep your mind open um, and keep your eyes open for, for great finds like that. Um, okay, so that's it for today. That's my entire haul that I had. I do plan on having some more um, and some of my DIYs. If you are interested in seeing um, my AKA project, um, my spray paint collection, um, and some of the other things that I plan on doing, like creating some table trays and things like that, just let me know. Uh, comment down below and I will be happy to do that for you. Also, um, I was thinking it might be cool if maybe people were interested and they saw something on Pinterest uh, that they were thinking about doing but they're not sure how to do it. Like if you want me to do something like that, like a little Pinterest challenge or something like that, I'd be happy to, to check that out and explore it. Um, and yeah, see you guys in the next video.